electric airliners carrying hundreds of passengers, cargo planes landing silently in city centres. It sounds almost impossible, but manufacturers believe this is what could be coming our way in 10 years' time. Slovenian company Pipistrel has designed a two-seater fully electric plane. It's the first to be certified by the European Union. It's uh, quiet, no big uh, noise, it's really stable, it's really easy to control. It's a fully electric one, so no pollution. While the plane doesn't leave any remains of CO2 in its path, its flight time is for now capped at an hour. So for charged, it takes the same time as you're flying, the same time it takes to charge it, so 1-1. One, one. Despite the plane's short battery life, it's proved to be a commercial success. Its cost is close to that of a classic aeroplane. The company built 40 electric planes in 2020 and expects to double that figure this year. This is just, just classic uh, fuel engine. You see, it is very big, uh, it is uh, very heavy. Uh, it has a lot of parts uh, which must be replaced during the time. Comparing to the electric engine, which is very small, the weight is smaller, uh, the parts are less, so uh, they are not uh, parts to be replaced. With a small motor and a light battery, the manufacturer is already looking further ahead. This model of a five-seater flying taxi could be commercialised by 2025. And in eight years' time, a plane capable of transporting 19 passengers over a distance of 1,000 kilometres could well take to the skies. But are electric planes really going to take off on a wider scale? EasyJet's collaborating with a US-based company to create a new 186-passenger aircraft equipped with electric motors. They hope to complete the project within the next 10 years. Battery technology um, is improving rapidly, but it is extremely difficult to power an aircraft the size of the one behind me uh, using batteries alone. We may have to have an interim stage where we have a hybrid aircraft, a bit like we have a hybrid car, we might end up with using some conventional fuel and some electrical or, or zero emissions propulsion. Other challenges, however, still need to be solved if electric planes really do fly off the shelves. This includes finding a greener way of making batteries and generating enough renewable energy to charge thousands of aeroplanes.